Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Factorial Massa, where I am joined, as ever, by Stejo, Mangled Pork, aka Bentham, and a Rumba. Say hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Fantastic. Hello, everyone. See, I'll, I'll, I'll play your game this time. <laughs> What's up, bit? <laughs> ah, there's always one. Why can't all of my children be good? Why is there always going to be one that's a special case? We just you then not love me like you love the Why? others, Dad. <laughs> <sighs> I give you the best years of my life. The ones where I could have been out doing awesome things, but instead I was changing nappies. <sighs> Man. I'll change your nappy. Uh, okay. Carefully, you'll generate uh, we'll fan leave art. That for a different kinky show. But welcome I back. I just mean when you were old. Level. I mean, I, I was just saying that I would look after you. Mm. Okay. Hey, uh. Avak, you, you sound quiet. Have you changed your setup at all in the past? Uh, your I mic is quieter than normal. Sound quiet. Do I sound quiet to anyone else? Uh, no. It's just on uh, occasion. Maybe a little I don't know. bit. Are you, do you move away from your mic a bit? Something like that. No, I don't think so. But maybe I'm doing it instinctively. Like when I'm about to be loud, I lean back or something. I don't know. No. Now that gremlins. I've called attention to it, you, you probably aren't gonna. I'm gonna be conscious of it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's no big deal. I just, I was just wondering. Made them all no, self conscious. Now, now. Okay, so we have 40, 40 megawatts of power set up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it up to fifty, and then I'm gonna call that good for now. All right. Are we going <laughs> biter murdering? No, well, we should be. You are. But before we go, um. I see not the ability to make railway track. Why not? I just don't see it in my list of things I can make. We may not have researched actual trains yet. Yeah, I'd set up logistics too, and for some reason it's been stopped. Oh yeah, I thought we had it. Okay. We'll go for it. I think, yeah, um, trains go. I don't know, science or something had happened, and... Once we get Logistics 2, we can research actual trains. Yeah. Um, I recommend that you build yourself some heavy armor before we head out. Already got some. I'm making myself some, uh, some Why aren't you, Mr. Fancy armor piercing pants? rounds. Oh, double Mr. Fancy Pants, I see. Uh, I Gotta be will prepared. Be... Well, I was going to set up some automation on the electric poles and then also some weapon automation but honestly our steel output is shockingly bad right now. Yeah. What's happened with well, that? It hasn't ever really been high in the first place. It's um, only a small array so it's not that amazing. I would say yeah. we probably need to increase that if we're going to start moving into producing things like bullets uh, that is piercing rounds because we are going to be producing those in fairly mm -hmm. large numbers so the system we're going to need also... The system is also half dead because the inserters were trying to load coal in rather than iron for some reason. What? Oh, there we go. That, they're, they're the only circumstance again. Yeah, the only circumstance that can happen is if somebody runs by and throws their coal into it, which may have been me. Because they'll they'll <laughs> yeah, they'll never pick up an item unless it's requested. Well our steel is now recovered a bit anyway. Oh I see. I, I get you what you what you're saying there, right. Okay. You really need some ammo. I've got like 50, 50 thing in Bob's magazines. Yeah, I'll probably need some. I'm going to start making some myself. Um, I will see if I can just grab up some some steel before we leave, and then we'll go off and clear up that by the base. Um, though, to be honest, we probably don't really need to clear it up. Let's be let's let's be fair until we've got something to take out there, such as trains. How far are we away? We're not actually that far we'll need, away. We'll need so steel as well there. for the, the rails. Mm. Yeah. Basically more steel. Okay. So are you guys sorting out iron just now, yeah? Um, I will work on steel and like upgrading to steel furnaces. I'm also going to set up some wall production and brick production because I know Bentham wants brick. Yeah. Okay, but, well... Um, first I got to finish power and I'm not be ready for that. Bentham, what do, what do you say? We'll, we'll head out there, we'll clear up the biter base. That'll give us access to oil and two reasonably sized iron deposits. And then a little south of that, some more oil. 
and even some coal not far off. So we could actually set up a, a little expansion base to uh, get the mining done and use yeah. that perhaps to um, piggy bank out again. Is there any water near there at all? No, there's not. That's a shame. There might be some just beyond say, the, the edge of what we see. We can always hope. Yeah, it might be. Because um, I was going to say, if, we, we if they've somewhere. got... Um, water over there as well, then we could set up a, some steam power, get a radar going, and uh, yeah, wouldn't be too we bad, because we don't want to have to take the power over there. We could go to the west, because the deposit over there has uh, iron, stone, and coal, and is nearer to water, and there is some oil there. Iron, stone, and coal, where's the... Oh, I see the one you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't have access... Well, it's got kind of access to oil, yeah, we could do. We we could go over there instead because that does have a little bit of everything, and the water is much much closer. It's a shame you can't dig. Like you yeah. can fill in water. It's a shame you can't make it. Like just dig down to the water table. I agree. You can have like an excavator building mm -hmm. something. I think that would actually be really good if there if there was a like a, a water drill. There was like, like a. a a water Actually, there should be a bomb thing. Like, thing? There, mm. sh there should be like an electric is there a water powered bomb? drill that like pumps up in water landfill. for like late game stuff. Yeah, in the landfill, landfill mod. mod had. Oh, oh right, right. Yeah, no, I, I was just sort of thinking that it, it makes sense that there would be a way to drill down for water in places which don't have convenient access for it. Like, it, that would make sense in vanilla. Yep. At, uh, 51 megawatts of power right now. We should contact Excuse the developers me. immediately, because they will good. probably <laughs> actually put it in. Right, Mango Pork, we're mm -hmm. ready to go out. Let's go to the east. We'll kill off the biters over there. I wonder if it's like... I'm going to grab extra stone. Actually, there's, there's okay. some over there, isn't there? Or is there? No, not over there. Uh, okay, no, we'll there isn't up... any stone there. Yeah. I'll hoover up a bunch of stone so we could potentially make some... Uh... Walls or something. Yeah. And I guess some miners sure and things. And all that kind of stuff, yeah. <laughs> That's funny because I know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, the generic Hoover sound, huh? Yep. Well, I mean, if your Hoover's making that sound, I think there's something wrong with it, actually. And I'm also going to grab a bunch of copper. Oh Amazing, my god, we're never uh... going to get, get away if, <laughs> if, if you keep deciding that you need more stuff. This is what I'm like in real life as well. I'm like, oh wait, but no. we also need this thing and this thing. Oh crap, the thing we were going to is finished already. Yeah. But at least I'm prepared for it. Yeah, right, the problem is, that would be good if the, the preparations counted for the next time. Like, you missed Glastonbury because you couldn't get your stuff sorted for like three days. But it's fine, I'll have all of this stuff ready for next Glastonbury. But then you'll, put, you'll stick it in the cupboard, then you'll forget. Or it'll get used on other things here and there. And then come next Glastonbury, he's like, no, I need to get everything ready again. So you miss it again. <laughs> <sighs> Endless, never going and yes, anywhere. I may be a little bit bitter because I've got friends like you, and that has happened. <laughs> <laughs> Still never got to go to Glastonbury. Well, you haven't. No, you. Oh, no, no, yeah. That was, yeah. That was a joke. Yeah. Several times, yes. Mm. I thought you were just lamenting. It's like, oh, I never got to go. <laughs> I never get to go to Glastonbury. Bullshit. <laughs> uh, I was wondering how long that would take to come out. Right. Off we go. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't even a yeah. <laughs> but I wish it was. <laughs> it's bullshit. Right. Uh, yeah, we're more or less on on path for this. You've got the heavy armor, right? Yep. Cool. I even brought oh, some I grenades. I feel I feel that exoskeleton legs have spoiled me. Oh yeah, so so painfully slow. Yeah, power armor two desert. with like six six legs. That's amazing. Are we just going straight for the deposit? Yeah, let's go straight for the deposit. Let's leave the others because they, you know, I wish the biters dropped something when they died. I wish there was a reason to farm them and not destroy their bases. I really, really do. That they one drop. mod that added the little little drops that biters oh, did Bob's that mods, was yeah. amazing. I love that. They dropped their souls. I bet. It was fun making the collector systems for it. Okay, charge! The they this drop things. feels they drop a little bit soul. nasty that I'm so good at killing all these things. Nope. Getting hit by worms, I'll take them out. 
There they go. I'm not even going to need the grenades. No. We are efficient. Oh. Fight the same machines. Pretty early in the game here, so they're they're probably very weak still. Uh, you can actually yet. type without cheating. You type uh, evolution slash evolution. Oh, evolution! Ow, you shot me! The factor. <laughs> Sorry, you ran into the way that I was shooting. What? What about a man who's just blindly firing his shotgun into a biter base? Does not warn you you shouldn't run in front of that line of fire. I did forget that shotguns did that for a second. <laughs> Ah, my goodness. Should we just, like, build a, a, a mini base here, then? Well, we don't really have that much resources, but yeah, we could. We're not going to have any kind of power, though. Not unless we go really far out of our way to get Yeah, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. I brought some coal. Right. So... We're not going to actually have electricity. <laughs> well, yeah, the problem that, is that, that may be an issue. I mean, that is I the old-fashioned way. But at the moment, there's no water for literally miles. I mean, there is a certain appeal to go in more primitive technology and like building a, a, a hut out of out of bricks that we baked ourselves from the <laughs> kiln that we made ourselves and so on and so forth. But I do quite like electric mines. I'll be honest with you. There's definitely a part of me that that appreciates. Have we researched long range power poles yet? Oh, we have. That's good. Uh... We have, mm -hmm. we have. I was going to set up the automation for this, but then I've got sidetracked. Um... Who changed it to YARM? No idea. Because it didn't say. Is that the... Oh, it was, uh, it was auto research, it was auto research, I mean. Oh. Why, you think Could YARM is a bad idea? There. No, I was going to change it to YARM, and I thought that someone else also had the same idea. Let's just say it was me. Yeah, I had a good idea. That was, that was all research. Don't want to even try. I want to get on Steejo's good side. It's very important to me. Why? I don't know. Steejo's bad side is vir virtually exactly the same as his good side. Pretty much. There's very little difference. I suppose this is definitely true. I'd forgotten you can now mine trees on top of deposits without constantly accidentally mining the ore. I will confess... I really, really do like the uh, the mod that is auto filling things. Like when I put something down and it's like, oh, this requires fuel. You've got wood in your inventory. I bet you want to put that wood in there. It's like, yes. Yes, yes, yes not, I do. Thank you. You've, you've not used autofill too much in the no. past? Really? No. I, I yes. remember using it with, um, I think it was Top a mess. Spots. And, yeah. mm -hmm. it, oh, well, whatever it was that we, when we were playing it. And I remember thinking, this is amazing. My guns start with ammo. This is the mm -hmm. best invention ever. And then when I went back to my single player game, I kept getting killed while I was trying to turret creep <laughs> because I just didn't appreciate how important that was. Cutting down these trees is so fast now, it's great. Because I've also just upgraded to a steel pickaxe. Because I always like fully use up my first iron axe before I switch to the steel one. Yeah, I, I'm still waiting on using my steel. I've got a steel one ready. Um, Steejo's trying to make a lot of stuff with all this iron. You need, you need more raw material here, don't you, buddy? The problem, yep. the problem over see. here, Phantom, is that we've got no copper, so... There is coal, and there's copper far to the south. I, I just feel that building a base here is not as practical until we got solar. Well, I just meant, like, getting some basic production so we can start working on putting walls in and stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to walk back. I'm going to set up some automations for some necessities. Chiefly, power poles and um, ammo. We can get that set up. I've right. become... I don't know uh, about you guys when you set up like outposts. Do you link them all to your main factory via power poles and logistic network and things like that? Uh, oh, not with this network. That unless it's but... like stupidly distant. Carl does all that. Because he, I he tend just to... drive the train. Yeah, I, I, I tend not to link them, and I actually like not linking them. I like having the, the sort of logistics challenge of making, like if I've got a little base that wants a radar, I have to work out a way to make my base um, have enough power for the radar without necessarily getting it everyone aggressed on it and things like that. And 
I like having trains going out to my little outposts just to restock them on on the simple supplies. Mm. I do like having like radar yeah, outposts, but then there's like a really yeah. basic two guns, couple of solar panels. Exactly. Sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I I like having a reason to do that. And again, it, I guess it, it's kind of similar to the the whole circuit network stuff I was talking about. I don't need to, but I want to. So whenever I'm given a reason to, or even like a, a fake reason, one that I can at least pretend to believe, then I'm all for it. So I, I I love having those little, a, a, an almost legitimate reason to build those outposts that way. I say almost because you really don't need to. I've now got like a thousand wood. Excellent. So that'll be all these furnaces fueled. Right, I'm gonna set up. Um... Does anyone remember what a what the substations require in materials? It's they require uh, advanced copper, right? uh, steel, copper, and advanced circuits. Yep. Uh, advanced circuits, okay. Yeah, oh, I'll just set, I'll There's just set up two for now then, um, one for medium poles because uh, I don't see any reason to use wooden poles once you've got medium poles. That that's just that's just silly. Mm -hmm. um, well, set up advanced circuit. Uh, set up thingy. Uh, the oh my god, what the, the fuck are they called? Substations. Set up substations and uh, put just like a an empty belt to it. Okay, I'll leave that up there then. Um, let me work out how long does it take to make. It takes two copper, two steel, so that's fairly easy. Five copper. Oh, well, that's actually. Uh, I imagine here then, for the sake of doing this, I may as well just have a single belt with steel and copper on both, and then an empty belt later for the circuits. Now I completely used up a, a full steel pickaxe, cutting well down done. all these trees. We're Just on these fun. trees. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! Uh, sometimes you can be very sarcastic, Avak, and I love it. <laughs> I'm actually <laughs> a very, very sarcastic person. <laughs> It just doesn't get uh, as much chance to come out because I a lot of my friends just don't get sarcasm, and it's it's never meant in a malicious way. But if, if sarcasm is uh, is not a form of comedy that you're used to, it can sound malicious. So I just yeah. don't get to flex my my sarcasm too often. So when I get a chance, I'm very in favor of it. <laughs> just from these miners and, and furnaces that have been set up over here, the pollution is already about to reach the biter bases. I'm setting up the first guns. Ooh, somebody put down some lights. Who did that? Avak. Nice. nice work. <laughs> you know, you know what's it going to be? Very, very pretty. The guns are all fancy and blue. Yeah, they're based on the color of the person who put them down. But I'm not blue. I'm yellow. Uh, I thought that they were that way. Maybe they're based on... I don't know, who yeah, built them, is, possibly? That is actually quite odd. I am very surprised by that. Because I've always had it be my colour, no matter who put them down. Very don't weird. Die, then. Well, oh, Arumba's blue, so... I'm Cyan, yeah, I guess. That does... Yeah, yeah. that is what it looks like. I guess maybe because I'm the, I'm the host, of it's... The, of the leader of the player force or something. Leader of the free, leader of the free world, yeah. yeah. No, because in the... Um, <laughs> In the series that I did with Shen, it was whatever color you were, no no matter what. Like it, oh, it was that's probably broken it odd. somehow. Odd. Hmm. Honestly, I think it would be cool if they were the color of the person who put it down. Didn't yeah. Be, oh, yeah, that's a lot tidier. I didn't think of it. That's all right. I'm just, uh, I'm just fiddling with it so that as as even to what I've done with the rest of the bus. Got my yeah, we need more, uh, unreasonably, <clears throat> I am unreasonably irritated with the fact that I'm setting this place up to make medium electric poles, but I'm having to power it with small electric poles right now. <laughs> <laughs> my lord. I'm actually quite happy with the, the level of spaghetti. Really? 
over here with the the power poles. How's that? I don't know. I just. Is it it's 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 kind of spaghetti. Satisfying amount of spaghetti. It's kind of spaghetti like, but it looks nice. Yeah, I wouldn't say that was spaghetti. That, that's actually got a uniform pattern there. It's quite nice. Yeah. It's not just a, a boring grid. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Right, okay, so we're now producing medium and large. Uh, how much should I limit these two? Uh, I do. I normally do four stacks, like a stack for each person. Uh, so actually, a really clever way of doing it. Yeah. So, I've done the same with the belts, except um, actual belts. You've got an entire row. Yeah. For each person, and then like splitters, you've got a stack. Yeah, that makes sense. Perfect. It won't stop someone picking up the entire stack though, when they're just like remotely. Yeah, I'll just take some of the inventory. Control click. Oh, I've yeah. got a roll. Ah, oh, well. Rimba. <laughs> <laughs> why, why would you? Why? Why would you assume I would do something like that? We need more iron. Where's the train? Get the trains. We need a train full of iron. We just have a, like a bunch of furnaces running over here right now. In fact, they're full. Do we um, to manually deliver six stacks of iron? <laughs> no, I want you to manually deliver a whole bunch of iron ore so that I can get more steel going. Please. You oh, I see. Such a money get sometimes. Do we need more steel? I thought we needed more iron. Just iron in it's, general, so yeah. we can get more everything. Ultimately, right, so ore. You, would you like me to run the uh, some big electric poles, or, or start running big electric poles over there? Yeah, that's, that's a good idea, and then we can yeah. start putting mining on this. So I was yeah, going like, oh, I'll just make it a little. I'll, I'll stand about here and get some stone going, and then I've remembered that this is the one that doesn't have stone. That doesn't have stone. Yeah, stone is uh, fair all ways to the south. Do you want me to bring a load of stone over as well? Uh, yeah, then we can get some walls in place. I've got one little gun emplacement you... in the bottom corner. Why didn't you just build the balancer, like, back a little bit? Because it didn't. <laughs> okay. I, I knew it, I knew it. The second <laughs> I heard you start talking, I knew you were going to give me shit about something. <laughs> I just I knew just... it. Well, to be so fair, you, you have you have played Factorio with each other for a long time. Yeah. You, you know the signs at this point. He's just, uh, Cedar spends 90% of his mental energy trying to find something to give me shit about. That's that's what he does when he plays Vector. It's just I'm not sure well, you matter that sometimes much. Sometimes you do sometimes you do silly things. Yeah, I know you are, but what am I? Huh? <laughs> Think of that? <laughs> anyway. It's that time, eh? Yeah. Is Amazing. it really? Wow, okay. That that caught me off guard. Yeah. I will be honest. I did Shocking. not notice the time sailing past. Yeah, we're three right. minutes over time now. It's fucking stressing me out. Wow. These got, these forests are really not hard to place electric poles in, like uncommonly yeah. easy. That Is would that be part of the mod? Uh, that would be the the tree collision mod. Yeah, yeah. They have basically no hitbox. It's almost zero. So oh, well. that makes this so much easier. Wow. Yep. So it was who was it? That would have been me. So. Thank you very much for joining us, everyone. We hope you enjoyed and are enjoying the series on a whole. Remember, if you have any feedback, do leave us a comment down below where I'm going to say Aromba is going to be the most attentive and will probably take on board anything that you tell him that he's done wrong and improve it in the next episode. <laughs> but until next time, take care, everyone. Bye. Goodbye. See you in a bit.